Hey, what's up guys? If you guys want to boost your internet speeds, check out this mesh system from Deco. This is the Deco B63 by TP-Link. So I'm going to run some speed tests via Wi-Fi and then via wired, even though this is in wireless configuration. So basically mesh system is two or more devices that create a single larger network. In this case, this comes in as a three pack. You can also get it as a two pack. But there's another one of these that's hooked up to my ONT, which is basically kind of like a modem. And that one is acting as the router. This one is just acting as a node. So right now, my Mac Mini with the Wi-Fi 6C card is wirelessly talking to this one. And I did an internet speed test and I got pretty much 1.2 gigabits per second download and 1.3 gigabits per second upload. Now my internet speeds are much faster than that. They're five gigabits per second upload and download but I want to demonstrate the speeds that I get via Wi-Fi. Now, if I brought my phone, like the Galaxy S23 Ultra, or especially the OnePlus 11, I'll get way faster speeds than this, but I want to demonstrate something that's not obvious. So even though this is wirelessly talking to the other Deco B63 router, as you guys see, it's only hooked up to power, I can actually use the Ethernet ports on this and connect it to my Mac Mini or any other device that supports Ethernet, like a computer, a PlayStation, uh, whatever it is. Now I'm going to run another speed test. So just for kicks, I'm gonna turn off Wi-Fi right now. Uh, I'm also gonna close this. Sometimes it takes a minute to recognize um, that I switched over, but let, let's just try it out and then let's just see what happens. But essentially, when I hook up via Ethernet, I get much faster speeds, even though the Deco itself is still in wireless backhaul configuration, I'm getting way faster speeds. And in fact, I've done the speed test a couple times and I saw as high as 2.3 down um, and 2.35 up. So the upload is, it looks like, yeah, I got to right around 2.3 up and then uh, close to 2.1 down. So if I do another one, you know, vary and stuff like that. But the point of this video is that it's much faster. And a true test is a local speed test server. So if I refresh this page, in fact, I think my other computer went to sleep. So let me wake it up. All right, let's refresh the page. The computer over there was updating. All right, but you guys could see here, the fact is you're, you're pretty much capping out to 2.5 gigabits, which is the maximum speeds that this thing can support because of its ports. So, and this is why I like the local speed test because they're much more consistent because they don't rely on your internet service provider, nor do they rely on the public speed test server, which can be busy at times. It's not always super consistent, uh, whereas the local speed tests are consistent. This is by open speed test server. But the point of this, is the fact that, and again, if I unplug this and I basically turn on Wi-Fi, uh, give it a second, refresh this page, it's not gonna be as fast. Um, it's still gonna be very good, but it's not gonna be as fast as if I were to hook it up via ethernet. And, and that's pretty much the whole point of this video. So if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that subscribe button. I have way more videos coming up. I have a lot more routers. I, in fact, I just got the Asus router. So that's definitely going to be next on the, the test itself. So, so yeah, not quite as fast uh, as you guys can see here. Uh, still very good, but you know, it could be better if you hook it up via Ethernet. So I recommend if you have a device that supports the Ethernet connection uh, that can at least, uh, you know, you could try it and do speed tests. If it's not as fast, then obviously you could switch it back to Wi-Fi. So it really just depends on the configuration you have. But hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.